Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by the title, this is my eyeliner collection. And just a fair warning, um, I tend to cuss like a sailor. So if you don't like that, if you can't handle it, then you need to exit stage left. Because sometimes shit gets a little weird around here. So I hope you enjoy this collection of mine. So yeah, here is Gary to start my collection. And we're gonna avoid looking at my nails because they look horrible in this. I didn't do nothing with them. So anyways, ta-da! Here's my collection of eyeliners. All kinds. We got liquids, we got water activated, and we got pencils. So let's get into it. So these are by AOA Studios. Uh, they are liquid liner, the brush type. And it's two different types. This is a Stellar collection. It is kind of an iridescent collection that they had. Or have. They still have. A decent brush. Not the best brush ever. It's not frayed or nothing. But but the formula of this liner. And I wish I was more into the damn picture. Okay. The formula of this, that liner is not that great. It is not my favorite lighter ever. It's real chunky. It's just not that great, as you can see. Now this one is some of their newer ones. I think it's the Starlight Collection. I've tried to read this and it's very small on my phone, so I apologize, but it's the newer of their collection of eyeliners. This one has a really good brush and it also has a really good consistency. And it, it is a really good eyeliner, so I do recommend, especially this gold one here out of the Starlit or Starlight or whatever the crap collection that is. That one is a good one, though. It's only a dollar, too. Well, both of them were only a dollar, but this is worth the dollar for sure. So now we're getting into my Wet Wild collection here of liners. And I can already tell you off the bat, Wet Wild is not my favorite. But I have had these forever, and they probably should go ahead and get decluttered. So this is the Mega Last, or no, sorry, Mega Lighter in the purple color. And the brushes, usually all these are horrible. They're not that great. I just, I'm not a fan of this, but back then at the time, these were like the only lighters I could afford to give me color. So I just dealt with them. That came from the Flight of Fancy collection. It was the gold lighter out of that collection. This one wasn't too bad. I've pretty much almost used it up. It's kind of thick and gloopy though. As you can see, it's kind of chunky. And it's always been that way. It's not because it's old. It's always been a really thick, gloopy consist of uh, whatever. You get what I'm saying. This is another mega lighter in a uh, blue color. Kind of a wonky brush. But it's okay. Like I said, these are not my favorite lighters. And chances are, after this collection, I'm going to dump it. Or dump them. So this is out of the, the Flight of Fancy collection here, too. It's like the Hunter Green out of that collection. I also had the ones out of the uh, Gothographic, and those were the absolute worst things I ever laid my hands on. Which I might be where the blue and the purple one came from was out of that Gothographic collection, but I don't know. These will probably get canned for sure. Now these liners, liquids, are my absolute favorite. They're by Elf, and they're only two friggin' dollars, and they are fantastic. I love the brushes on them. I love the formula. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't transfer because y'all know me. You know I got allergies from hell. So my eyes are constantly watering and these do not come off. Like I said, they're super affordable. It's super good for the price. So I have a black and I have this navy blue color, which to me, out of the pot, it looks black as well. I don't really see a lot of a blue tinge to it. But they got really good brushes. They're just they're just a really good liquid lighter all the way around. So, yeah, like I said, I can't really see a difference. I can't see, like, this navy blue color 
but a really good lighter. I love them. Yes, I approve. Okay, put them down, dumbass. <laughs> so, <laughs> now we got the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Lighter. Uh, this is in the red. It don't really look red, but it is red. Um, this is okay. Once again, it's got a really thick, bulky brush. And the formula is kind of thick on it too, and it just doesn't spread too well. Could be because why it's getting old, but it was... It wasn't spreading well even when I got it, so it's okay. If you need those bright colors, primary colors anyways, they're okay. Now these are the bomb.com. I can't believe I said that. How cool of me. But anyways, these are the Profusion Neon Lighters, the liquid lighters. I don't remember the full name of them, but they're by Profusion. Um, and these are freaking amazing. I think they're around four dollars. I got the whole set from Walmart. I don't think they're on Profusion's website anymore. Yeah, there we go. As I was saying, my camera's not about to focus. But these are amazing and they're bright and they glow under the neon light. Or the neon light. Hello! The black light. Which one of my looks I did was with these. I used mostly these and a few eyeshadows to make that glowing in the dark makeup look I did. Which I need to revisit that and make another look with these. And try it again. I really want to like paint like a photo on my face. Or a pa painting on my face. And then take a photo under the black light. But that's the orange. Like that yellow is so extremely bright under the black light. It's freaking amazing. And what I really need to do. What I'm thinking about doing. Is I need to get a whole other set of these. Just for a backup. Because they like I said they're freaking amazing. Their brushes are fantastic. I said it's so easy to put those on your eyes or your face. They're just all around really good. So if you run across these, like I said, they're sold out on Profusion's website. So hopefully Profusion brings them back. If not, get down to your Walmart and see if you can find these things. Now, there's a problem there with this brush. But you know what? I won't deal with that because this is just awesome. Well, what you can do is take a pair of, like, nail clippers and just clip those hairs off. And it usually works just fine. But they dry down. Um, not completely matte, but they don't transfer. They don't flake. Like I said, they're really a good, good lighter. Especially for somebody who wants neons. Okay, so this is my felt tip eyeliner collection. Not very big because I'm not big into felt tips. But I do have a few. Um, sometimes they work better with my pet up cat eye looks than liquids do. So this is the Kappa D Tattoo Liner. I believe that's what they're called. These are just little uh, deluxe sizes that I got with orders. And it's, it's okay. I mean, I haven't really tried one of my eyes to really tell you. Because these are pretty new to my collection. So I could really tell you how great they are. But we'll see. Um, if they're good or not. Now, this one coming up, I know is good. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, this is another little deluxe size. Because I don't, I can't afford no full size shit in this. Because it's expensive. But, these are really, really good here. This is about the only felt tip lighter I have ever liked. Has been this one. It lasts all day. Even when I'm about the heat sweating my ass off uh, and look how dark it is compared to that Cap on D one uh, it's just like I said all around a really good lighter lasts through all my allergies and watery eyes and stuff so that's the physician's formula one it's supposed to be a knockoff to the, the tattoo liner um, it's okay it, like I said benefit is my favorite one by far so I tend to like want to grab it more than I do anything else it's all right. Just like I said, but if it's still kind of my favorite, so. But I still try to use it, anyways, just to make sure I use it up. Don't waste it. So this one is by ColourPop, and I don't know what they're called. Um, I guess just a liquid lighter, but it's in the red color. And this one was shit. I'll tell you that right off the bat. 
It just, it is, I can't hardly put it on over eyeshadow at all. Um, and you can see the color is pretty weak on it. It just won't transfer on the eyeshadow. It dries up pretty quick, so not a fan of those. So here's all my gel eyeliners, and this is what I use on my lower lash lines. So these are by Jordana, um, a pretty inexpensive company. At the time when I got these, these were like several, several years old. I thought that they were freaking awesome. But now that I've got better ones in my collection, these ain't as good as I thought they were. Um, I mean, they would be okay for normal people who don't have really watery, itchy eyes. But they, they don't last very long in my waterline. But at the time, they lasted longer than, say, Wet Wild, um, Rimmel, and I can't think of some other ones I tried at that time. So they were the best on the market at the time when I got those. They were inexpensive. But they probably need to be go ahead and taken out of my collection because they are pretty old. And I just don't use them anymore because I have better now. So, But those are the colors. And I'm not too for sure if you can even get Jordana anymore. I know my Walgreens quit carrying Jordana. That's where I was getting all the products from. So I don't know about them anymore. I know you can go a lot in order. Now these are Wet Wilds. I, I don't know. But I think they're just called eyeliner pencils. I don't know if they had like the mega whatever. But I have it in pink. Like a shimmery pink and a shimmery blue. Now these were probably the best eyeliners that Wet Wilds ever put out. And that's not saying much. But I mean yeah they were probably the best. They lasted the longest in my waterline. And they, they, like I said, they're okay. They're not as good as some of my other ones coming up. But they'll do. I mean, they work. Especially if you're cheap like me. So this is Milani Stay Put. Something something. Waterproof eyeliner. There we go. And it's in like a, um, well, hell, it's blue. But to me, these are a dupe to the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. They even have the same packaging going on. And it does last a pretty good while in my waterline. Um, the only bad point is these are about $10, which I didn't pay $10 for this one. Walmart had it on sale for like $3. That's why I grabbed it. But there is an Urban Decay liner, and you can see they really even tried to copy the packaging and everything. So, if you can find these on sale, they're really, really good. But for like $9 or $10, I just don't know about that price because I'm a Taekwad, so. So these are my ColourPop, the little uh, retractable gel liner, or whatever they call it. And this one is screwed. It's been screwed ever since I got it. It just won't stay in place. But it, it sucks too because I really like the color. It's just really hard to use. I will say that these liners are okay. Uh, they will last uh, that's the time, you know, for in my water. I can't even talk. Let's regroup. Okay. They will last, but, you know, they won't last really long. I mean, they'll last longer than the Jordana, the Wet Wild, and stuff like that. But it's not like an outstanding lasting power to them. And like I said, they're, they're really finicky. They're really soft. You can't retract them out very much or you will break them. I don't know how many of these I broke because I got them out a little too far. And they're kind of hard to get on. Um, if your room is cold for me at least, it's definitely hard to get them on and I have to kind of heat them up a little bit to get them to get on my waterline. Probably out of all of them, that white one to be is the best. I don't know why the colors matter, but I guess it is different formulas. And the white one seems to be the best one. And the green one seems to be the least, the, be the, the one that doesn't stay the longest, so... They're not that expensive. Like, I got that whole set. I think it was under 20 bucks. so. Yeah, I left the camera blurry so we could see. So, these are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. They're actually a shadow. But, I actually like using these in my waterline. Also, sometimes for shadow, 
bases, but mostly in my water line I'll use these and I haven't had no issues at all. Um, that was a purple. We have this coppery rust color here. My least favorite, but it was all a clearance and that's when I grabbed it. But those are really good. A lot of times you can find them on either clearance at Walmart or you can get them on um, Ulta's website. Usually they're always doing mix on buy one, get one half off, or they just have them half off half the time. So you can all the time find these pretty cheap. But my fa absolute favorite white is this one right here. This is the milk. Is it called milk latte or something milk? I really like this one in my waterline. It lasts way better than that ColourPop one. And it doesn't smudge or transfer or anything. So we're coming up with some of my favorite liners. These are the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners. And these for 4 or $5 are freaking amazing. And they last damn near all day in my waterline. Even on my worst days with my allergies. They come in many different colors they, in these neons. I, I think that there's like a couple more that I don't have. But then they have um, regular... Do they call them shockwaves? I don't remember. But it's like regular colors. It's not these neons. So you can get regular black, brown, blue, uh, nude color, white, and the other light of these. So, But I like colors. So I got the, all these colorful ones that I liked and I get these from Ulta like I said Ulta a lot of times too will have LA girl buy one get one half off or they'll have these at half off so I just wait until they go down to about three or two dollars and then I buy what I'm missing in my collection so like I said shop around always don't think you have to hurry up and buy something when it comes out wait till it goes on sale because 100% of the time, the shit is gonna go on sale sooner or later, so just wait, like I do. Even though you're not a cool kid, and you're not doing it when it comes out, by God, you'll be saving a bunch of money doing it that way. So, like I said, freaking love. The yellow, I mean, all these colors are amazing in the waterline. I really love those. I really highly recommend those. I mean, look how pretty they are like the green red circles around that color pop green now these are my expensive ass little babies here and i freaking love them thanks to my sponsor lisa who got me hooked on it and she sent me that one <laughs> and got me hooked on these i freaking love these these will last all day long in my water line with no problem but these freaking little things are 22 dollars each so definitely wait Ulta always puts them on sale for around $11 and get them then. So I had two different colors of black. One is kind of a metallic. Another one is just a straight up black. Like I said, these, these are my babies. Now, I'm going to comment about these three coming up. This is the new, uh, that neon collection that Urban Decay came out with. I can't remember what they called it, but... These are the three liners that came out of that collection, and they went on sale really quick. The whole collection, if you notice, went on sale really quick after it came out, and I see why. These liners are not that great uh, for color payoff. The blue one is not bad, but this one here is so light, you can barely see it in my waterline. Now, it does last all day. Uh, it, it's... The formula is still, you know, like the rest of them, but it's just the color. It's very weak. And I don't know if that's what they were going for or what. Uh, I gotta see. I can't remember. I think this one is weak in color as well. It's not as vivid as you think it would be. Being that it came out of a neon collection. And like I said, these are more like pastel colors than neons. Other than the blue. The blue was okay. Now this color here is freaking awesome. This is a, um, it's such a odd green, but it was like, it's almost like a metallic green, like swap monster kind of color. It kind of shifts in color. It's, it's just really cool. I freaking love it. We got this really pretty one here. Oh, I see the name. It's called Deep End. There we go. 
It's a really pretty blue. I think these are all metallics here. If I remember right. Yeah, that's another metallic. It's not as metallic-y, though, as that green. I can't remember what collection that green one was in. So I think there are several like that green that are really metallic. But yeah, I, I just, I really do like these. Like I said, just wait until they go on sale. They always go on sale at least two to three times a year. You can get them for 11 bucks instead of 22 or you can just go for the LA Girls. I think LA Girl is very close to that Urban Decay formula for sure, along with the Milani ones. Now, here's my big collection. I freaking have fell in love with this little indie company that makes these. Um, I hope I say their name right because I've never heard it pronounced before, but I think they pronounce as Fantasy Cosmetics. At least that's the way I've taken it as. And these are the names, and their names are very mythological. So, I don't really know how to pronounce this crap. So, but I'll be showing their names so you can see it. So, this is, these are water uh, activated liners. And it has really helped me doing my artwork. And unfortunately, I thought I had the whole collection. Well, now they've released a whole bunch more. So, now, <laughs> now i got to start collecting again. But, these are amazing. I use, um... I could either use makeup brushes or I use art brushes, especially if I'm doing something really, you know, out there, weird, artsy fartsy kind of shit. So they work well for a eyeliner. They work well for painting. I just all around they work really well. And a little bit goes a long way with these two. I mean, you don't have to use very much. Especially the red one that's coming up. I've used the red one a lot because it was the first one I got. And it still barely has even made a dent into the, the little pan. But definitely go on Instagram and ch check out Fantasy Cosmetics. Like I said, it, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Um, yes, this wrath here is like my favorite. And it has been well loved, well used. And it's barely even made a dent. These are ten dollars. A lot of time, Fantasy will have sales, like um, twenty percent off, twenty-five percent off. I think the highest I've seen has been thirty percent off. So definitely try these if you're needing something like a liquid liner that you can use with your brushes, and, or if you're like me, you like doing artwork on your face. And these are definitely well worth it. They also have pressed pigments. Um, I do have one of their pressed pigments, and it is good. I'm just not a fan of pressed pigments. I I don't like all the fallout they create and everything. They also have a lot of glitters, which I do have a lot of glitters from Fantasy, and I do like them. I use them quite a bit in either my nail art or on my face. They also have lip glosses. Uh, Lipsticks, maybe? I can't remember what all they have. The only thing I really... I know, I'm horrible. The only thing I really go look on their website for are these here. Because I'm just... I'm so addicted to these. These are like my favorite. For sure. I wish I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. Um, I'm not a cool kid, so... Yeah, I dropped the lid on that one. So I have to wait till after this over to pick it up. But, yeah, I'm not a cool kid, so I'm not sponsored. I know, I think people think I'm sponsored as much as I uh, pimp these things out. Because, yeah, I pimp them out like they're my little whores. But, um, no, I'm not sponsored. I've bought all these with my own money. I just really like them. I think that they're fantastic. It's an indie company. So, it's all a plus. Like I said, I have thought I had every color until right after I collected every color and now they've come out with a metallic line which you know I'm one the fits about I don't know if I really want metallic ones or not to me this is not just their brand but every brand that puts out these metallic water bait or water activated liners they're just not as pigmented as these matte liners so like I said, I'm not for sure if I am going to get the metallic line of the colors or not. 
I might just stick with these map colors. But yeah, Fantasy Cosmetics, they, they have their own website. They're also on Instagram, so you can check out all their looks that people do with them. And just, you can just get a whole feel for their products through Instagram. Because there's a lot of us girls that we'll do looks with. They'll post our looks, our reviews, and all that. So like I said, those are my babies for sure. They definitely help out me whenever I'm doing my art work now. So I'm not relying so much on those little liquid lighters and stuff from like Wet and Wild and my dog just distracted me. Anyways, <laughs> um, I hope you like this collection and I will be doing a collection soon of my lipsticks and other things. So stay tuned for that and I'll tell you to wash your hands how much I love y'all. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Just look up Rebel Jackson. Love you guys. Wash those hands. Bye.